In this video, I'm going to discuss about how to do the database connection. So basically, I've taken the uh, Microsoft uh, uh, SQL and uh, how to connect with the Delphi using the ADO component. So first, what we need to do, we have to take the ADO connection component, right? The second, we have to take the the data set and data set could be anything like TADO query or TADO table or TADO stored procedure. And we need to take that data source control. And after that, we have to you know, one of the display component. So data where component I've taken DB grid. Now we have to provide the connection and we need to link uh, you know, with our database, uh, Microsoft uh, SQL database. So what we will do it, I just uh, we will go to the property of the ADO connection and uh, then connection is string. Okay, build it. So just uh, how to build this connection string, I will just explain here. So we have to put the server name. So how to find out the server name, we can open that uh, SQL server and we can find out the server name from here. Now, then refresh it, all the database with that server will come down here in this. So here, my database is custom database, right? If you see that, I have the custom database, right? So customer uh, database, so customer database I have selected here, just test it, this connection is proper or not. So test connection, it is successful. Now we can, uh, use this connection string okay click okay now this is the tadio query so this is the nothing but the data set where we have to write our queries right so which table we need to fetch the data so here is the sql one of the properties there so in this i have written the select start from the implied detail so uh, the same thing i can write here select start from the implied detail right so i have four record fine now in the data source we have to give the reference of the tadio query right so in data source we have to set the what is the data set we are going to connect right so tadio query is our data set in tadio query the data set we have to give the connection string right so what is the ADO connection component, uh, the object we have, right? So ADO connection object one is there. So in data query, we have set it connection is ADO connection one, right? And in ADO connection, we have set it the connection string, fine. That will give you the complete information about your database, okay? And user ID and password, data source, right? And what is the provider? Now we have to this is the data where component db grid so in this db grid we have to give the reference of the data source so that it will get the data from the data source and display in this so in db grid i'm giving the data source is to data source right now we have to in the ADO query uh, yeah so there is uh, active so just i'm making the active equal to true right and connection is already is the connected so all the data for data is displaying in this grid db grid right so uh, this adio uh, connection connection is thing also we can find out using just create one text file okay open it save it save as as a dot udl dot udl right just close this one now this file is again save dot uh, udl extension just double click now we'll get this the connection property you can create it from here right 